Next topic is soft computing for color recipe prediction. Color recipe prediction is the application of soft computing in the paint industry. It introduces a neurofuzzy methodology and another computational intelligence approach that combines knowledge base and three principal soft computing components. First one, fuzzy systems. Second one, neuro, neural networks. And the third one is genetic algorithms. Fuzzy systems, neural networks and genetic algorithms. So next, how to predict the color? That is color recipe prediction. In a practical situation, it is necessary to examine the color match in daylight as well as in artificial light. Color recipe prediction relates the surface spectral reflectance of a target color to a list of several required colorant proportions that are needed to produce the same color as the reference color. Next, let's see the main concerns in the recipe prediction. First concern is, it is difficult to predict precise color and concentration. We sometimes need to predict proportions with enough precision to specify levels such as 0.01 percentage which is the desired minimal color and proportion level. The second concern is it is necessary to specify use of a limited number of colorants to use for acceptable cost performance requirements. At the same time in the choice of colorants we need to avoid the use of complementary colorants and of the same types of colorants. And the third concern is the magnitude of mean squared error of colorant vectors may not correspond exactly to that of color difference. The question is which colorant has the most significant impact on the entire color. For instance, if the target color is very bright, we have to determine carefully the concentrations of dark colored pigments. Next, the fourth concern is, it is important to consider human visual sensitivity to color difference, which is closely related to perceptual attributes of color such as lightness, hue and chroma. Next, the fifth concern is some different combinations of colorants may have the same perceptual attributes of color as seen by humans. Next is canvas modeling for color recipe prediction. How neurofuzzy models can be generalized for application to color recipe prediction? The neurofuzzy approaches are expressed within the framework of canvas. So, canvas is coactive neurofuzzy inference systems. Let's we'll see fuzzy partitioning for canvas. In fuzzy modeling, it is important to determine a reasonable number of membership functions to maintain appropriate linguistic meanings. The color recipe prediction problem has 16 surface spectral reflectance inputs and 10 colorant proportion outputs as depicted in figure 6.3. When we pick 16 values, it is x1, x2, etc, x16. From the surface spectral reflectance curve of a given target color. We have the following 16 fuzzy rows. Rule 1, if x1 at 400 nanometer is a1, then use a row c1. Rule 2, if x2 at 420 nanometer 
is a2 the news rule c2 etc to rule 16 the rule 16 is if x 16 that is 700 nanometer is a16 then use a rule c16 and ai is a fuzzy linguistic label the visible color spectrum is 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer without explicit domain knowledge adaptive learning mechanisms enable and fis can fis to build up fuzzy rules automatically there is a formula for transforming the surface spectral reflectance of color to perceptual attributes lightness hue hue and chroma these three values must be more suitable for treating color in a linguistically meaningful way than the 16 spectral values next let us see the architecture of canvas architecture of canvas using hue hue alone it is possible to build up fuzzy membership functions on the polar coordinates that define five color regions red yellow green blue and violet see the figure fuzzy rules in the if then format serve to determine color selection for instance yellow rule if the target color is yellow then use a yellow rule c y each color membership function specifies the degree of membership of a color region and assigns the degree value to each color rule that is rules consequent as the firing strength in the preceding yellow rule the firing strength wy is determined by the yellow membership function consider a case in which each color region has three membership functions to express its three degrees of color example the rules for the yellow region between green and red area yellow rule 1 if the target color is greenish yellow then use a greenish yellow rule c g y yellow rule 2 if the target color is very yellow then use a very yellow rule c v y yellow rule 3 if the target color is reddish yellow then use a reddish yellow rule c r y instead of increasing membership functions we can construct more sophisticated rules consequent such as neural rules figure 6.4 illustrates such a canvas with five color rules one color membership function is positioned for one color region the given prediction task is decomposed into five color rules or five local color experts which from which form rules consequence in figure 6.4 the green rule is expressed in a neural rule with 16 spectral reflectance inputs each rule can be a linear rule a sigmoidal rule or a neural rule set up three membership functions for lightness and chroma respectively and five color membership functions for hue the canvas with 45 fuzzy rules is illustrated in figure 6.5 the canvas architectures have too many adjustable parameters 
to accelerate learning we can employ the modified bell membership functions to control the number of firing rows the the modified bell membership function and the original bell shaped membership function are the modified bell membership function and the original bell shaped membership functions are mu mod of x is equal to maximum of 2 by 1 plus x minus e by a part 2 b minus 1 comma 0 mu original of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x minus e by a part 2 b where the set a comma b comma c is an adjustable parameter so that is about the architecture of can face thank you